Hey babes, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we have Giorgio Armani in the house. This is a brand new palette, and if you're ready to see what's up with this palette, keep on watching. Mwah. video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part of the steffi glam r us fam so go down below and click the little red button so you can become part of it we got something in the mail today woo woo! and i wasn't expecting it at all it was supposed to be here on the 13th my husband walked out to go to the store and he came right back and he handed me a package i was like what the heck is that because i wasn't expecting anything today and then when i'm holding it i realized the package and i'm like ah! bro Look what we got. I haven't opened it yet because I control myself. I'm gonna do it with you guys. We have the Eyes to Kill Eccentrical Eyeshadow Palette from Giorgio Armani. We finished filming a video and I got this and I was like, you know what, fuck it, screw it. Let me just whoop, wipe everything off, do like a whole 360 change and start brand new. The it came out, or at least I saw it for the first time, like what? Like, three four days ago if i'm not mistaken so i got this really really quick like really quick i was talking to you about it in my other video but you are gonna watch this video first so let me tell you again <laughs> but besides that i can't stop staring at like what's wrong with my nose like why i'm peeling on my nose like in my last video, the one that I just filmed, I used like a whole full, like cover my whole background type of foundation. And it settled so much in my nose that I was like, you know what? I have to like settle down to a natural type of foundation because my nose, it's peeling. Like why is it peeling? Like it looks like I went to the beach and I was like under the sun all day and I didn't use sunblock. Like, I don't know. No say. Anyways, I'm gonna start opening this up and then we're gonna talk about it. When I first saw this in the pictures, I was like, do I want this? Like, let me tell you that it does look a little bit complicated. Like all those shades mixed up and then you kinda have to like pinpoint which one do you want and then you have to be, be careful so you don't go in the other shade. I don't know, like that kind of looks to me like a big freaking un arroz con mango and i'm not sure if that's my jam my cup of tea like sometimes i don't have time to just be like you know but whatever i mean you guys wanted me to get it so here i am i bought it of selfridges i just checked and it's currently out of stock i don't know i guess everybody bought the goddamn palette but don't panic we don't know if it's good or not yet so let's just see what's up first and then like anything else i know it's gonna come back in stock so this is the eyes to kill eccentrical eyeshadow palette damn that case is nice that looks really elegant and sophisticated and really looks serious i love the combination of the red with the gold logo i think it looks super sexy and exotic it is 117 dollars i know it's a little pricey but before we talk about the price let's play with it let's see what is it about you know i really love the case like a lot it comes in a holiday theme red case it is plastic it comes with 28 grams and this baby it is made in france this case it is calling my attention to the max like i love anything red my favorite colors it's literally pink and red like pink and red everything pink and red everything but i think pink is just girly and red is sexy i love how thin it is look at that this is super travel friendly super like throw me in your purse don't care this is not gonna break this is not going anywhere i love it that it's plastic but at the same time it feels heavy duty okay so i haven't opened it yet we're gonna open it together and i'm so excited moment of true let's see what this has inside let me okay let me see oh Let me 
give you a close up. Wait. We have 10 shades to choose from, ranging from shimmery husk to satin like finish, all of which can be applied as blush, highlighter, and eyeshadow. You saw how pretty that is? I also love the fact that the mirror goes all the way back. So for blind people like me that we need the mirror like all up in our face, this is like super handy. All the shades are very pretty. We can't take away from that, but they're very light. So I'm even wondering if they're going to show on darker, deep skin complexion. I mean, we're going to find out, I guess, depending on how they look on me, we will be able to find out if they're going to show up on darker skin complexions than mine. So my view of the palette, in this side, we're getting highlighters. I have a champagne highlighter, pinky, purple. This is also purple, but more of a vibrant, lighter purple purple this is silvery this is a golden highlighter it's a darker than this one so i think this is gonna show better on darker skin complexion this is an orangey coppery highlighter even though that these two shades they still have a little bit of shimmer they're not as glowy as the rest of the shades i didn't even swatch this so let me get in here see it's even annoying to get it with my finger because my finger is already touching the other shade so if i don't want to go in the other shade it's like i'm gonna have to and the formula it's very creamy and this is very glowy look at that let me swatch the pinky one the pinky looks pink All right, so that swatch, really subtle. More like sprayed out shimmer. Hmm. Let me see the pink one. All right, the pink one does have more pigmentation. And let me see this purple. So I'm not the biggest fan of the way they swatched, to be honest with you, the pigmentation, it's not really there for me, especially like in the first shade all the way to the top. It's more like a, I don't know, like a loose glitter type of like highlighter. So you gotta be careful if you have a lot of texture. I mean, hopefully the other one swatch a little bit better because let me see what's up with this golden right here and this silver right here. This silver right here looks very, looks and feel very like sandy. Like, oh my God. Hold on, let me show you. You see what's going on with it? Okay, hold on. Let me. It's very sandy, like it's it feels like a crumb, okay. And I mean, there's nothing I can do, I'm already getting this shade inside of this one, all right. And it is that type of highlighter that when you take it off, it leaves a glitter everywhere, like everywhere. I have glitter in my whole entire hand. Let me swatch the two blush shades for you. I'm trying to get the blush and I got some highlighter on my finger. I mean, that is one and this one is the other one. Nice. They're totally two different colors. Okay, so let's see how these two blushes look on the face. And I'm going to be using my Hermes brush. Let me start with this one. <laughs> you know, it's not really like, okay. It is pigmented. And then let me go in with this shade. I don't really like this color, to be honest with you. Especially as a blush. I don't know. It's just not me. It's 
it's not a formulation that is making any better on my skin. It's not blurring my pores. It's not smoothing anything out. Like it's just, it's just there, you know? And for what? Let's see how it blends in the eyes because they're supposed to be eyeshadows. I'm gonna be using my classic crease from Sonia G and let me go in this shade. I'm gonna apply this shit on my crease. Same brush, I'm gonna be using this shade. I packed my brush and I'm gonna pack it right here on my other V. You see, like that's as much pigmentation we're gonna get. That's it. Maybe blend the edges a little bit. With my flat defender from Sonia G, let me grab a little bit of this shade and I'm gonna apply it on my lower lash. I want more depth in my eye look and I can because I don't have nothing else to, you know, work with. I only apply that shade on the outer part of my lower lash. I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this pink right here. For the inner part of my lower lash okay this pink wet is doing something so as an eyeshadow we might be golden because that's a pretty shade with my inner corner brush from sigma i'm gonna grab the shade down there i'm gonna pop it on my tear duct damn that is really metallic with my packing brush, I'm gonna go into the gold and my brush is dry. I'm gonna show you how it looks dry and then of course we're gonna wet it. I'm gonna apply it right here in the inner part of my eye. See, that's as much pigmentation we're gonna get with my brush dry, which it's a nice amount. Boom. I want to see what's up with this purple right here. Let me apply it right here next to the gold. Nice. I'm going to be mixing this purple with this purple and this purple. Why not? They're all purples. It looks cute though. All right, so, so far I'm really liking the look. And the last color that we have is this coppery right here in the middle. So I'm gonna flip my brush and I haven't wet it yet, it's dry. Let's see how it looks dry first. Okay, that's what we have. I'm just gonna make sure everything is nice and mixed and blend in. Let me grab another of this. This one for my nose. Let's see really quick how it looks as a highlighter. Let me just grab this one. This is the darkest one, I mean, at least. The one that I think it looks darker in the pen. But it's not really giving me that much. That's it. That's as much as we're gonna get. So I just realized that I had lipstick on my teeth. Hmm. Hmm. So I like it. I like how it looks on my eyes. I love the whole pink vibe, but I don't love it. It's not driving me crazy. And that's the same exact way I feel about the palette. Like, I don't know. Like, I honestly love the whole case. 
more than I like the shades and the formulation and the way it looks. This is a pretty palette, but this is a palette that is not going to drive anybody crazy. And none of the shades are going to be better than the ones that you already have in your collection. So why spend the money on this? I don't know, like we have so many nice highlighters and so many nice blushes that I'm looking at this and I'm like, we don't need this at all. Like I don't like it as blush. I don't really like the highlighters. I mean, you know, the only thing I like it for, it's for the eyes. And that's just because I wet my shimmers, I wet my brush, and when you wet these highlighters, they become really intense, as you can see them on my eyes. Like, my tear duct is popping. But, and that's it. Like, so if you already bought the palette and you're like me and you wet your shimmers, then fine. But don't buy the palette just for your eyes. Like, it's just not worth it. Besides everything that I just told you, and this, I knew it since I saw it in pictures, but I was like, okay, maybe not. No, it's happening. It's a mess. I'm trying to get this shade, and I'm picking up the other one at the same time. Whatever. I get annoyed by that. If you do too, have that in mind. And $117, it's not cheap. That's actually a pretty penny, so whatever. I do like the packaging. And I was expecting so much more, but I'm happy that I reviewed it for you guys and I told you what it is Remember that I'm here and I spend it so you don't have to let me know in the comment section down below What do you think about the look? What do you think about the palette? Do you feel the same way I feel and hey if you already got this baby You know, I always want to know your thoughts So let me know what do you think about it after you try we finally made it to the end of the video Thank you again for another great video. I love you all so very much to the moon and back and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i hope now you are considering subscribing because i would love for you to stay with me forever and ever so go down below and click the little red button and make sure your notification bell is on so youtube can notify you every time i love new videos Mwah! see you on the next one